Okay. Uh, moving on, moving on. Um. Wow, Lady Gemini. How you doing, girl? Haven't heard from you in a while. She comes back to me. Lady Gemini asks me, Hello, kid. How you doing? How was your Mother's Day? Mine was great. What did you do, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I think a lot of people want to know what did I do for Mother's Day. Uh, bear, bear in mind, I made that Mother's Day video late Saturday, and I put it up early Sunday. Uh... And I want to appreciate everybody that wrote comments on that video, uh, especially Hex and PM Knight, uh, two guys that know where I'm coming from um, with that video pretty much and uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, basically, Lady Gemini, what I did was took a trip out to Long Island, New York. Um, to the cemetery that's where my mother is buried um, it's a military uh, cemetery where a lot of soldiers are buried and um, I spent the day out there and I was just talking to her and you know, telling her what's going on things like that uh, the funniest thing is um, Hope came with me um, she uh, drove out there we drove out there um, Long Island and uh, we talked um, and next thing you know I was just telling mom everything I was just just like she was there I was just talking to her you know tears came a little bit down my eyes you know I'm still just saying I miss you after 13 plus years since you died still hasn't gotten any easier there are still times I I told her I was like there's still times I wake up in the dead of the night and completely leave you at the edge of my bed there I told her I was like there was one time I woke up mom and I swear to you I saw you at the end, end of my bed just smiling at me and, you know uh there was things I just told her and then you know um, I went out first you know we went, we got out there earlier than the rest of the family um, but I definitely went out there um, then hope she came up and she just said she said um, she called my mother by her full name she said Mrs. Christine Bennett Christine Jane Bennett she says, I want you to know that I love your son very much. And right there, she didn't want me to walk away. She wanted me to hear this. And she said, I want you to know I will take good care of him. I love him very much. I will make you proud to know that he has a good woman by his side. Somebody, something that I know many women. Then she kind of joked. She said, something that I know many mothers always want their sons to have uh, then she 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 put her flowers down she hugged the uh, the grave um, and uh, I pretty much sat there for a while just thinking for a while uh, got up walked away just told her I love you mom and just told her one day you know we'll be reunited again one day not yet not yet but one day and I just told her I will continue to make you proud and I just said continue to watch over me from there I went over to my grandmother's grave uh, my mother, grandmother's grave is next to my grandfather. Uh, since my f grandfather was a World War II veteran, he was buried in this military grave, and he's and his his uh, his widow is buried right next to her. And I just told my grandmother, 
while we were going we saw the rest of the family coming up to uh to my mom's grave and they were like my dad was like moving on to grandma I was like yeah moved on to grandma went over to grandma's said hi grandma I told her I missed her you know it's not the same I miss I said I miss your your I miss your your sweet potato pie and I miss you <laughs> I miss you always making making a big bowl of potato salad for me for birthday for my birthday you know things like that it, it was it was great I had a great time bottom line lady G lady Gemini I had a great uh, uh, Mother's Day uh, I didn't cry as much didn't cry that was the shocking thing um now is that to say I'm getting used to it no just maybe that I feel that I know they're always with me but no tears there's no need to cry because in the end one day I will be reunited with them you know what I'm saying uh and then um you know I went to Hope's mother wished her gave her a gift and wished her Happy Mother's Day, and uh, we, uh, me and me and um, me and Hope just uh, chilled and just reminisced about our loved ones that have passed and stuff. It was really cool. It was really good. We cuddled up and you know just just chilled. Uh, but a lot of people who wrote to me said they they had a pretty good uh, Mother's Day as well. Uh, T. Deadpoolzilla said he baked his mom some. Cupcakes, I believe. Uh, if I was reading correctly, him and his his siblings. I thought that was cool. I remember doing that myself one uh, Mother's Day. Uh, nearly burnt down the house, but uh, <laughs> I remember doing that. Um, Gabby said he he had a big barbecue celebrating Mother's Day. Um, usually we would do that too. You know, I'm I, it's, it's uncanny how much Gabby and I. I should say many of my friends are like with me. Uh, usually we do that too. We 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 get together at somebody's house. We have a big feast for Mother's Day or whatever. But this time, uh, a lot of people was a lot of busy and things like that, so we couldn't really do that too much. But bottom line, it had a great Mother's Day. Um, spent practically almost the entire afternoon day with at my mother's grave. Uh, Yeah, tearing up now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Whew, I, I I loved it. Okay. Um. Next time. Okay. Next person is moving on to his ninja. Four two three three. Um. Ninja asks me, what superhero or anti-hero? Are willing to torture bad guys to get info. Easy. Frank Castle's one of them. Uh, Wolverine will do it. You know, he will do it. Uh, I would say Bruce, but I don't think he would hurt, torture somebody. The problem is, he just says something to people and then they just flip out and start talking. Uh, Ghost Rider has done it a couple of times. I've seen him do it a couple of times. Uh, um, Moon Knight, of course. Moon Knight has done it. Moon Knight has done it a couple of times. Uh, Helena. Helena Beltinelli, uh, a.k.a. Uh, um... Huntress, excuse me, man. Sorry, bear with me, guys. Headache. Uh, Huntress is definitely another one that has done it. Uh, there are plenty of people who have done it. Are willing to get the information out by torture. Uh, pretty much. Okay. Thanks for the question. Okay. 
Next question comes from another guy I haven't heard from in a while. Uh, father of three, actually. His name is Dynamite Joe. And he hails, another one of my friends, hails from uh, South Carolina. Columbia, actually. No, no excuse me. I'm sorry, Columbia. Man, this headache. Uh, Charleston, excuse me. Uh, and he asked me, hey kid, long time no see. Man, hey man, gotta ask you. Are you going to see the Karate Kid remake? Because my kids are begging me to take them to see it. Uh, okay, hopefully your kids are not in the room while they're listening to this. Because I'm about to, Hurricane Chris is about to come out again. 